I'm Matt Dar with Iowa State University Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Today we're talking about vertical tillage tools and how to choose the right gang angle for your application. So we're in our three degree gang angle test trial and we've used a backpack air blower just to blow away the top of that sole surface and get a better look at what's happening below the ground. What we can notice here is that you do see some ridging and that naturally happens with VT, particularly if we've got low gang angle settings. But what's really interesting is we've got lodged, we've, we have stalks that are fully still lodged in the soil and helping us to ensure that we don't have soil loss through erosion uh, because we have those stalks maintaining the, the connectivity uh, with the ground soil. Additionally, although we, we do see some ridging here, what's important to note is the density or the compactness of that soil. And so I suggest you always just take a piece of this because this soil, although it looks like a ridge, should be dislodged from the VT tool and should allow to, uh, to break up uh, very easily, which indicates it's an excellent planting condition. We've now moved over to a different part of the field where we used a five degree gang angle, which is more aggressive, and we would expect to have more shattering and incorporation of residue into the soil surface. As we look below here at the soil that's been exposed again through a leaf blower, the first thing you notice is there's very little ridging. We've almost completely taken out the, uh, uh, the ridges and created a very uniform and unique uh, uh, ideal soil surface for planting. Additionally, on the flip side though, is we have very little roots still anchoring into the soil surface. That means that while this might be ideal for a condition that's got uh, fairly uh, flat ground, this is probably not what we want to do if we've got areas that are highly erodible where we do want some of that anchoring into the soil surface. Now one of the things we'll notice is the difference between vertical till and other tillage solutions is although it looks like we've created a, a flat surface, hard surface on the ground, we haven't done anything that's smeared or cut across the surface. So I can take my depth gauge and still easily poke it in the soil surface. And it's a little wet, so it's coming up a little, a little bit, uh, bring up a little bit of residue but I certainly haven't created uh, density layer changes that would be concerning in, uh, in future years. We're here at our last setting, which was a nine degree gang angle. And this really shows off the versatility of a VT tool. Recall over at our three degree gang angle, we still had some existing ridges and stock roots that were still fully lodged into the soil surface. Here at nine, we've been able to adjust this machine to go aggressive enough to completely take out um, any of the ridging below the ground and completely shatter and mix the residue in the top two inches of the soil surface. So again, the, the setting you will choose, right, depends on the goals you have. If you're in a lower lying area, an area that's maybe head or heavy or, or wetter soils, uh, this is an excellent way to get those soils dried out while also uh, sizing stocks and, and uh, dealing with residue ahead of spring applications. If you're in areas that don't get as much rainfall or areas that are in uh, lighter soils or highly erodible soils, that three degree setting is a much more excellent way to, again, deal with residue while retaining the soil health and uh, environmental factors that you're after.